Hello, and thank you for joining me for this video. Today we'll be covering the shopping cart module. This is a module available for tracking stock items, which allows users to log in to a limited access user interface and place orders for items that are in stock. We're going to start off by setting up a user as a shopping cart user. From the admin dropdown in the main navigation ribbon, we'll go to user settings and users. Here, we can either search to find the user or we can simply locate them in the list and double click the row to open the file. Under user info, we'll choose the shopping security level. Now, before we move on, we can also choose which customer that user is going to be associated with. Now, we just need to select the appropriate company off the side here, move it over into our selected customers. And now we just need to make sure to save and close. So I've logged out of the admin user account and I've logged back in as the shopping cart user. This is the user interface that those users will be greeted with. Uh, we have limited the access to the system to provide the users with the essential options that they will need. The shopping icon will take the users to the shopping cart page, which lists the stock items, their descriptions, and the cost, and will also show the primary picture of that stock item if one has been uploaded. Now here on the far right, uh, we have the area where the users can go and specify a particular quantity and add that to cart. Once all the items have been added to the cart in the appropriate quantities, the user will proceed to the cart icon where they will see the list of items that they have selected loaded into the cart order. They will be able to select their customer from the drop-down list, and the drop-down will only contain the customers which were selected when the user was set to their shopping. The date and sales order number will automatically be filled in. We just need to review the order and press submit. When the order has been successfully submitted, the user will be greeted with this screen to acknowledge that. The order icon here will allow users to go back and look at any orders that are still open and pending processing. Users can double click any of the orders to view it. When orders are placed via the shopping cart module, they will come across to the standard user interface as a sales order. So I've logged back in as my admin user so we can go and check out the sales orders that we just created. Now we'll click on the sales order icon in the main navigation ribbon and then select the one with the number that was just generated on the order form. So here we have the sales order that we just created and from here we can treat this just like any other sales order. We can double click to open it. We can go and print the pick list. We can also print it out as a standard sales order. Additionally, we can also go in and now use this to pre-fill the pick or issue transaction. We simply come in, select the sales order from the list, and it will pre-populate all of the information for us. From here, we would simply need to select a location of any of the items which are stored in multiple areas. It will tell us both the available quantity and how much they are expecting to see out. And this concludes our video on the shopping cart module. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you in future videos.